Hi Miguel, my name is Melissa and I'm going to be doing your exam today. I'm going to be checking your lungs and your heart and your chest, the front and the front part of your chest and the back part of your chest and I'm going to be checking your nails, your skin and your uh, feet. I'm going to take the capillary refills and your pulses on your feet, okay? okay. Do you have any complaints for uh, any complaints so far? Uh, no. No? Everything's been okay? Yes, everything's been okay. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. So that we can go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, Miguel is an 18 year old male that's coming in for his annual, he's an established client and he's been coming in for just his annual world checkup. Um, he seems to have no complaints as of right now. Um, he's also been, um, he looks relaxed. His facial uh, looks symmetrical. Just gonna kind of clean it up and warm it up for us to start the assessment process, okay? Go ahead and lower the gown just a little bit, and you can go ahead and put your hands out. Put your hands out. Out of the out of the there. Go out of the gown. Okay. Alrighty. Miguel looks relaxed, and his shoulders looked symmetrical. Both of them. His skin, they're warm to touch. His face looks symmetrical. Also, his mouth looks pink no cracks no lesions um on his skin also he looks his skin looks very fair normal to touch also no skin no bruises there's no acute breathing uh respiratory breathing on him he's breathing normal you can see his accessory muscles as he breathes and i'm going to go ahead and start palpating from here i'm going to I'm gonna put my hands here, going down. When you hear, when I put my hands here, I'm gonna have you say 99, 99. Every time I do that, you're gonna say 99, okay? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my hands on your chest here below, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna have you take a deep breath. One more time. Perfect. Okay, and this is to show the symmetrical, both bilateral, he's breathing fine, and it's to check for the fremitus of the anterior chest wall. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and auscultate certain areas, and every time I put the stethoscope on, I'm going to have you take a deep breath, okay? It's, we're going to do about 10 of them, so take a deep breath and out, okay? So we're going to have, so we, we're going to be able to listen to different parts of the body, okay? Breath for me. Perfect. His rhythm and rate on his lungs sound clear on all aspects of the points that I've been pointing to or auscultating to. Just relax, just relax. As I'm checking his pulse, I'm checking his breathing, and he has a normal rate and rhythm for his age. He has 14 breaths per minute, and his pulse is also normal. Okay, I'm gonna kind of guide you to turn around that way because I'm gonna, as I did for the front, I'm gonna do it for the back. Okay? okay, we're gonna just kind of tilt it a little bit that way, and I'm gonna inspect the posterior part of his neck, and I'm gonna kind of sit here because our bed is not accommodated for certain parts, so we're just kind of, I would need for you to put your feet up if you can, so we can have it straight. Perfect. And sit up straight, and relax your hands on the side of your body. Perfect. His skin is warm to touch, and the same way. I'm gonna put my finger, my hands across, and I want for you to say 99 when you feel, okay? 99, 99, 99, 99. Perfect, and I'm gonna check for the fremitus. I'm gonna have you, once you feel like a little squeeze, I'm gonna have you take a deep breath for me, okay? One more time. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the stethoscope again, and when you feel it, I'm going to have you 
Take a deep breath for each one, okay? His lungs are clear and we're trying to avoid the scalpular area because or avoid tissue area because we hear we hear different sounds as we put the stethoscope on top or above the the scapular bone and tissue alrighty I'm gonna have you come back now in this case as an adult it can be more prominent you can visualize or you can actually see our jugular vein extension from the side of the neck but as we can see it here it's very mild we can see if we get a lie we can probably see the internal jugular vein and we can go ahead and palpate here perfect and we can palpate here too perfect i'm gonna have you lay down and i so we can go ahead and see check it also as laying down it should be at a 45 degree angle, but we're gonna try to accommodate. I'm gonna have you look, face that way for me, please. And we can see it a better version here where we can see the jugular vein distension here. Or not distended because, but we can actually follow it from here. And we can also auscultate it from here. We pop, sorry, we can palpate from here. Perfect. And as he's laying down, you can go ahead and look forward. And as he's laying down, we're gonna go ahead and palpate the carotids. We try not to do the carotids both on both sides at the same time because it can also cause a vagal reaction. And we try to do one, not putting too much pressure on it either. So we uh, auscultate the carotids. I'm sorry, palpate the carotids on both sides. Or we can always do them like this, not putting too much pressure to do them both at the same time. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and auscultate the different parts. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and, and do the cardio part of the exam. And as I'm looking at his chest expansion here, it looks good. No lesions, no masses, no tender areas um, as he's laying down. His skin is warm to touch. Um, also, we're gonna auscultate palpate all uh, different parts of the valves which is the five major um, valves that we have the aortic the pulmonary um, the herbs point the tricuspid and the mitral which is the apical and I'm going to be auscultating different parts okay The pulmonic, then we do the herbs point, then we do the apical, and then we do the tricuspid. And as I have my stethoscope on, we're gonna go ahead and check the brewing or for the carotids, we can also auscultate them. I'm gonna have you turn, tilt your head that way a little bit. And as we put, the, we do it with the bell of it, the little diaphragm. And we do it on this side. Perfect. So palpations or vibrations palpated in areas of the apex on the left sternal or on the right bilateral. His auscultations was normal. His heart rate and rhythm were normal. The pulse is 72 regular rate rhythm 
and the diaphragm also with the bell were normal. Okay, I'm gonna have assessment now. We're just gonna check your your vascular system. We're gonna check the pulses here. The pulses, we have a good pulse here, both bilateral. We're gonna check your capillary refills. Perfect, less than three, which is good. Now, I'm gonna have you take off your shoes and your socks, so I'm gonna go ahead and check your pedal pulses, your feet, okay? You can just put them up there, and we're gonna do both. Before you do that, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. As I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go ahead and check both of his feet, bilateral. His skin is normal here, no rashes, no bruises. I'm gonna pick up your leg a little bit, your foot. Okay, I'm gonna check the capillary refill on his toes, on his nails. The nails are good to color, no clubbing noted either in the hands. Good hygiene and the capillary refill. No edema, perfect. Okay, you can go ahead and put back your socks and your shoes. Okay, we can go ahead and get dressed. You can put your socks and your shoes back on. And um, your exam seems to be okay. And we'll follow up in a couple of weeks if everything's okay. Okay. All right, thank you.